Hey y'all, it's Christy from Tea Dottles. And today it's time for finally time for <laughs> Patterns Galore and Not a Thing More Part Two. Uh, or number two. I just, just say number two. I'll probably be doing a bunch of these over the span of my channel's lifetime. <laughs> let's I don't know how else to put that. But first, let's say welcome some new subscribers. Welcome back, subscribers. I'm happy to have you here with me in my maker shenanigans. I do like to do the sewing things, the yarny things, and the DIY things. So you will see a little bit of all of that here on this channel. I consider this a maker channel. So if you like to make things, you might like it here. All right, then. Let's just get into it, shall we? I did one of these a while back, and I had recorded a second one. But somehow I accidentally deleted it. I don't know. These things happen. And I haven't. Every time I think I'm going to sit down and do it. I haven't been able to. I'm, I'm on my water right now. So. Um, Alright. So. This is going to include. Uh, crochet. Knitting. Sewing. Quilting. Patterns. It's all kinds of patterns. Okay. If you haven't seen my other one. I will put a, a eye link up here to the other one. If you would like to take a, take a peek, I'll be creating a playlist for it since I'm going to be doing more of these. So, uh, then you can just watch the whole playlist if you want to. Of course, this is only the second one. So, all right. So, this first thing I have over here is, it's actually, I call this a paper pattern because it's for scrapbooking and things like that. But I am subscribed to the, um, I just lost the name of it. It's the fairy. What is it? Oh my goodness. I know it has fairy in it, but it's, it's about, um, she, she does paper printouts and scrapbooks and things like that. And I cannot think of the name right now, but I'll probably have a little thing up here and I'll definitely have a link down below, but I get her weekly email and there's always a free download. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes I don't, but this one was really cute. So I went ahead and printed it out. Of course, this was from several months ago. So, but anyway, I still like it. Um, I really like the, uh, sewing thread uh, bobbins for the wheels. I just thought it was a neat little pick. So uh, I printed it out and I could potentially use it for something to hang a picture on the wall or I don't know, but I just thought it was a neat pick. So that I think that's my only paper related pattern. Okay. Um, so next is this, um, these are a couple of quilt patterns. Now, when it used to be Blueprint, because um, then Blueprint went away, and it, now somebody else bought it, and they've changed it back to Craftsy. I think they just do streaming videos for uh, learning how to do things and uh, things like that. I don't think they have patterns at all. You, you did get to still keep your pattern library, but I don't think they sell the patterns anymore. It's just videos. So... When it used to be Blueprint, you could, if you were on the newsletter, you got a weekly email with, um, or it might have been monthly, you could get some free patterns. They had free quilt patterns, sewing patterns, crochet patterns, knitting patterns, those kind of things. So this is one that I got from, I just like it. It's a very basic uh, quilt pattern. Um, I think this is a whole quilt like this. So this is the whole quilt pattern. Um, this is by Natalie Crabtree. So if I could find a link to where you might actually get this pattern still, I will put it down below. Um, it's a very modern quilt, right? And what I like about this is the big pieces. You can use prints with this, but you can also do like quilting on this to make it very interesting and very textural. So I thought that would be, it'd be it would be something that goes together fairly quickly. And if you scaled it down, you could do blocks like this. So yeah. I think it would be very interesting. So. Now, here's another one I got from the same place. This is also by Natalie Crabtree. Um, I really like this. It's like reverse. It got the sun on the mountains and the moon on the mountains. So, I think that's very interesting. I love the way the lines cross over in here. And, uh, yeah. I think that would also be a fun one to make and do some interesting quilting on. So that is there. Now we've got this is one that uh, it's called Quilts My Way. Um, I think this was something free on her blog, 
and I will put a link down below to be sure. This is just a six by six um, little paper piecing pattern with the pencils, and I thought that was really neat um, little thing to. Uh, you can make a cute little pillow or even a wall hanging for a classroom or a teacher or somebody who just loves pencils <laughs> like me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I just really liked that one. So, I'll put that one down. And I will, uh, whenever I list all these links below, I will uh, be sure to note if they're paid or, or free patterns, okay? Some of them, sometimes you can get free ones. I think this is, this is also from Quilt Smile Way. I think these all came from her Etsy shop, though, but this is an apple. So it would go along really well with the pencils, right? And this is also a, a foundation paper piecing or FPP um, pattern. Uh, some of you quilters out there may be familiar with that. It's where you have the pattern is on a printed piece of paper and you use the lines on the paper to sew it down. And it's a very interesting way to sew things and you can get uh, these kind of things without cutting all these pieces and having all these seams. And you can use, you can do smaller seams too. Um, so, yeah. Next is a pattern I got from Past Patterns Palooza, which is on a shop on Etsy. Um, so these prints are kind of orangey looking, but I really liked this quilt pattern. I just like the, there are different blocks that go together and they make this look. And I liked the block itself. Um, the coloring on this is okay, but I really like the block itself as something you could do a lot with. So yeah, I thought that was a fun one. And then this is another sewing pattern, Past Patterns Palooza. This is just a cute little felt and fabric, very vintage owl and squirrel. I just thought these were cute. Um, yeah, I don't think these were very expensive patterns at all, but uh, I just really liked those. So next is my first crochet pattern, which is also from that uh, same a website, I, I think. No, this is Lilu Mariposa. Uh, so it's a, a 70s crocheted afghan, but I really liked it. It's, it's a Halloween. You can tell it's Halloween themed, but I would prefer to see some purple in there, personally. Um, I just like purple in with the Halloween colors. So I, I might would replace the white with purple. Or something like that so I liked the little pattern on the afghan and uh, yeah so there is that one this next one's really pretty it did not print out very well but hopefully y'all can see it good it's also from past patterns palooza it is crocheted and it's a very interesting kind of Santa Fe Navajo style print on there that is all crochet this is a crochet pattern so I really like that a lot um, and this is also a crochet but it kind of reminds me of a quilt so I thought that was really interesting um, you, it's got all these uh, kind of diamond shapes I suppose you have to sew all those together I don't know if you can add them as you go or how it works but I think that looks really neat because it is crocheted but it also looks like a quilt so I really liked that so now here is my first garment crochet this is crochet I really like this is like a pineapple kind of pattern that you see sometimes and I just liked it I liked the little flowy sleeves um, it looks almost to have a separated, you can see the red of her top up here. Like it maybe has a boat neck kind of thing going on. Uh, yeah, I like this uh, pattern. So. Now something you have to think about when you do these vintage patterns, especially clothing. So the sizing is way different than it is now. It tends to, the, the, the sizes that we associate it with like small, medium, and large now, the inch measurement is different than it was then. So you really have to pay attention to the inch measurement, which hopefully they give you, to know what size you need to do. And sometimes you may have to just 
like if you're starting with the front panel or something, crochet a bit and see if you need to add, you know, do a swatch and measure and see if you need to add more to it. So I really liked this little pattern here. Um, it's just a little, kind of a crocheted t-shirt thing. Um, my, my dog is grumbling over there. I think he, he hears something. I don't know. Probably nothing. But <laughs> shush, shush, shush. <laughs> Maybe he won't get too loud. I really like this. Um, just a. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I really. It's just a basic tee, but I like this stitch on it. It's hard to see in these pictures, but um, I, I just like the way it looked. So there we go. And this is an amigurumi pattern, and it did not print out very well. Um, this is from. I'm gonna set that down. Oh my goodness, I don't have the web. The site. This was an Etsy shop, so I'll have it down below. But it was. It's this beautiful moth, and it has kind of fuzzy yarn and stuff in it. It. It's just really beautiful. This picture's not doing it justice. Um, I think there's some embroidery on top of the crochet, um, but I think it's really neat. Um, I think it would be fun to make a brooch out of it or a um, framed picture kind of layered thing where you put some of those on there and do some other things I'd, I think that would be interesting with things like that so or even applicate on a sweater you've crochet or knit so this is a I think I've showed this before but this is the um, caterpillar I have in progress that I still I haven't worked on in a while but um, this is just a fun little caterpillar you actually make the whole body as one piece then you make this kind of mask piece with these antenna that goes over the face so there's two different options for the kind of mask piece so um yeah I think he's a fun little take on a caterpillar and this comes from Crafty Intentions on Etsy. There's lot, she has lots of fun patterns. Um, yeah, so. And then this one is, I feel like I've told y'all these before, but it, it's because I recorded it before. I know that's what it is. I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyway. But this is Nola the Narwhal. Love a narwhal. So cute. Uh, this is from Teresa's Crochet Shop on Etsy. And so is this one. This is Seymour the Squid. Check him out. <laughs> I love unusual animal amigurumi most of the time. Uh, I just do. Uh, and this one is from one of my favorites. Uh, I've never actually made any of her patterns, but I love her patterns. This is Laylee. Lala, Lolly, Layla. But I bought this one, which is the summer set. And I want to get the, I need to go back and get the fall set if I don't have it already. But it's got an ice cream cone and a pineapple and a little surfboard. And they have names Smila, Pippa, and Keanu. <laughs> I think these are so cute. And she has kits you can buy too for these with all the thread, the yarn, and everything. Um, I've been tempted to buy one. Maybe I will. Uh, we'll, we'll see, but I, I, I just thought they were so cute. Uh, I think they're cute. All of them. Um, and here's one more, uh, another one. This is by Anita Saria. It's an ice cream monster inspired by Yeti, but I just thought that was super cute. <laughs> it's just a little monstery guy with ice cream on his head. And I just, I really liked that. So, um... This is a bookworm. This is a very detailed amigurumi, but I really liked it. Um, this comes from Denigurumi. Uh, there's a lot, there's several in there that I like. And they're, they're very detailed. You can see this has lots of detail to it. There's even some smoke coming out of his little pipe. But I really like that. I think that's fun. Uh, yeah, this would be one that would take a bit of time because you got a lot of parts going on there. But it's really cool looking, right? Uh, this one, I thought this would be fun. This is a conch shell, a Florida horse conch shell pattern. I think this came from that vintage site as well. I thought this would be fun to make and then stick one of those air plants in maybe. Um, I'm not sure. I would say that 
you would probably want to make it, if you're going to do that, I would probably want to make it out of cotton so then I could wash it still because you have to spray water on air plants. Um, but you may could just get some smaller, a small pot or something to put in here and then put it, but I would still make it out of cotton just to, just to be able to wash it or you could put some seashells down in there or something. But I thought that was really neat. And here is, this is, these are pot holders with chickens on them. I just really liked those. Or, or you can make hot pads or whatever you want to do. But I thought those were cute. That came from that vintage uh, Etsy shop as well. Now this is a knit pattern. My summer tote. I'm fairly certain this is a knit pattern. Okay, so it's like a reusable tote from Nikki Sim Knits. Just really liked the pattern. I think I might put slightly longer straps on it than that, but I, I have a long to torso, so. Uh, but I, I just liked it. You can't really see this. Usually, it's the stitch. It's a it's a fairly heavier stitch to make it more dense. Um, you can't really see that in the, the pictures. Not picking up the detail. But this one I love. This came from an I Love Crochet or I Like Crochet magazine um, post or magazine. I, I, anyway, I really like this bag. This is crochet, obviously, but I like it. I like the way they did the handles. Um, yeah, it looks like it would be a great tote for all kinds of stuff. So I really like that. I, I super love the handles, though, on this one. Um, yeah, and I will put that the uh, a link to subscribe to it if you haven't ever subscribed to it. Um, they are an affiliate of mine. That just means you know if you if you purchase through that link, I will get a small commission. Um, it doesn't affect your price at all. Uh, I always say that affiliate links are like I'm advertising for free until someone actually buys something, <laughs> or maybe like a car salesperson that uh, you. Uh, you go to work and you really don't make much money unless you actually sell something, right? That's kind of how that works. But I do love their patterns most of the time in this magazine. So uh, this is another tote. It just had a very interesting stitch was the main reason. I, I don't know how. Bags that have a lot of open spaces like that, I feel you have to line just to make them function. Um, but I thought it was an interesting stitch that could be used potentially for something else. So that was one reason I just wanted to check that out too. This one is also from I Like Crochet. I really like this top. It's it's going to be better for summertime, but um, I like the flutter, the way the sleeves are. And I think it's just a square with a kind of scalloped edge that you kind of stitch up and it leaves it open and flowy like that. I, I really liked that. Um, I think that's a fun shirt. Um, next is this pineapple cardigan so this kind of has a pineapple stitch but it's not all over the cardigan it's like just little strips of it and along the sleeve line and I really liked that um, I like the sleeves a little bit more open like this I don't like them to be too too flowy because then you gotta think about it getting into food when you're eating <laughs> that's what I think about like if you have a bell sleeve um, I like it to be a little bit open like that, but not like super huge because then it tends to get into stuff. You know, it does for me anyway. <laughs> Maybe I'm just a muscle person. All right, so and this one I thought was just fun. Uh, this is a free lion brand pattern. It's called the pink popover. Look at all the textures. Look at all the bubbles. It that would be something that's super thick, I imagine, but it just looks like fun. <laughs> It just like a fun, fun little pullover, right? Uh, yeah, I just liked it. Okay, this is another one from uh, Lion Brand. Um, this is actually by Rachel Meisner. Um, I think this is on her website as well, too. It's just another a little t-shirt, kind of a crocheted t-shirt thing. And I liked the shape of it and everything. Uh, so, yeah. I'll probably direct you to her website because I think they have a kit for her too. Um, 
then next I have a couple of uh, no just one this is a it's a, it says supposed to be a cat or it says a pet bed but I'm thinking about making one of these for my little poochie over there so I can stop having pillows with blankets everywhere in the house although I'd have to make several of them well I want to make one of these and I have a pattern for I know y'all probably seen the little the couch the crocheted couch for pets um, I want to make him one of those to keep somewhere, probably more like in the living room or something, maybe. I don't know, he likes to get on that chair in there, but uh, I want to recover re that chair and probably sell it, so he might not have that chair anymore. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, this is just from Yarn Inspirations. It's a free pattern, and I think this is made with Burnett Softy Chunky, so I think I have enough. To just make one for him like that. So, my little dog, my big dog, I would have to be a much bigger age. She's just content with laying on the couch or the bed. And I just, that's just what she does. So, she, she likes to sleep. <laughs> now, this is a really beautiful shawl from uh, Expression Fiber Arts. It's called the Sweet Pea Shawl. Is that going to focus? There we go. I really love this detail along the bottom. This is something that definitely has to be blocked once you make it. But I really love the pattern. Um, now, she has a newsletter that goes out weekly. And she has a free pattern that goes out. Usually a free knitting and crochet one um, each week that you can download. So, if you haven't signed up for that, you should go sign up for that. Um, this one came from Annie's Crochet. I really love this. Um, I actually love this whole outfit she has on. Although I probably wouldn't put a white collared shirt. I'd probably put a color just because that's kind of me. Um, it's called Georgia On My Mind. Of course I had to get that right. Uh, I super love this. I love this look. Uh, I think it's really just... It's kind of a classic look. I'm not a, a super classic gal, but there's some classic... Th things that you can do and put your own personality on so like I said I would it would be more colorful for me but I like this look so uh, yeah and this one I really love um, this is a textured topper coat it's also from Annie's crochet um, this would take a while to make but I have a wrap that I made that was fairly long like this but it didn't have sleeves so um, I really like this I like the color up at the top um, I feel like this is something that if I made it, you have to get a lighter weight yarn because this gets heavy. The bigger it is, the more it hangs on you. And I feel like it would need a lining almost, but I don't know if I'd want to fool with that. But I really like the way this looks. Um, so next we've got, this is another one from Annie's. It has some pretty good uh, crochet and knitting patterns actually. Um, I really love, this is a Yukini, Yukina kimono jacket. I love this here. It's got like these yellow in between the white with the gray trim. I really love, I love that. Um, yeah. And like I said, they went so neutral with everything else she's wearing. I, that just probably wouldn't be me. The neutralness, I would have some color. Plus, I'm pale anyway, and that would be like... <laughs> Like, where's Christy? Where'd she go? But anyway, <laughs> I really like that. I like the pattern. I do like the colors they chose for it as well. So, um, yeah, that'll be interesting to to make, I think. Um, so these next few patterns come from Two Brothers Blankets. And this is a website, a Etsy shop. Um, actually, they do have a regular website as well. Um, so this is the Leilani. Leilani Raglan Tea. Um, this is another just tea that I like. This is not focusing with the two. Uh, I like the stripes, but I probably would uh, maybe reverse the stripes if that makes sense because I'm bigger on the bottom and it would make more sense for me to have stripes here and the solid part down here if that makes any sense. So patterns like this you can really play with that sort of thing. You can play with any plain pattern like that and do striping and blocking just by changing the color. So, 
And then here is the Grace Cardi. And I like this because it's a short sleeve Cardi, which is really beneficial for living in the humid hot south when sometimes, like if I go to work, I don't really, wearing a sleeveless top is not appropriate, but I could wear this over it to complete the look and not be too warm because it's short sleeve. Because I have some that I bought pre-made, but it'd be fun to have some that I made myself. So, And then this is just an Edgewater tank top. I really want to crochet some lightweight tank tops. Um, this is not a good picture of this, but uh, yeah, that's all. it's just a tank top. This one right here comes from Honey, it's called the Honey Waffle Cardigan. It comes from Coffee, Coffee and Crocheting. I love, look at the texture in this. Oh my goodness. I love that texture. I actually love the color they chose too. I really love this detail here. How this tapers off up here. I, I really like that. So, yeah. That looks like a fun one to make. And then next we have, um, this came from Skull Cuddles is what it's called. This is the Devon Hooded Super Scarf or Hooded Cowl. This is kind of one of those patterns you make and you can wear, they show you like all the different ways you can wear it. I think that would be nice to have just um, with the hood and everything when you want it and it, can, it looks very versatile. I think it would be a fun gift to give as well uh, because it's, it's a little bigger than a hat but it's something that instead of it having a whole hat and scarf set or something, you just do that and they can wear it all kinds of ways, right? Um, and this is also from, this one and the next one is also from Skull Cuddles. This is a Andromeda Summer Vest. And I really like the patterning. It's just like a fillet uh, sort of crochet in some spaces and denser in other spaces. Um, very drapey. Um, if you made it out of a nice cotton, it could actually be a good uh, beach wrap or just... You know, something to cover up if you don't want to be so exposed if you're wearing less clothing because it's summertime. <sighs> Gotta keep that water in tank up. <laughs> so, now this one is also, it's another one. It's very similar to that the one I just showed you. They just did some blocking on it that was interesting. And it has longer sleeves. And the sleeves are different. If you look right here, they kind of look like a poofy kind of thing going on like they're tapered at the bottom or something that's kind of how it looks to me so next is this cardigan I are, I'm so in love with this and I would probably really want to make this to wear before the cold weather goes whenever we actually get some cold weather because it got cooler and it was hot again Yuck. anyway this is from life and yarn this is the Beverly cardigan I really love everything about this. I love the shape of it. It comes down to a point back here. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see. So I can get this to focus. But it has little bobbles. In certain places. And I super love this. It just looks. I like the shaping of this. This kind of shape works well for my body type. Um, it just fits over my hips better I guess. <laughs> Not so much bulk going on down there. I got to have bulk going on down there. Um. I'm going to leave that unfocused for a second. Uh, so next is this little Maple Cardi. And this is actually, um, if you watched uh, my video where I pulled yarn, I, d I deconstructed a sweater. This is what I want to make with that yarn. I've got to check the, the weight of the yarn to see if I could pull it off. But this is what I want to make with that yarn from the sweater I deconstructed. I think it would be super cute. Um, I actually have a another uh, sweater. It's one I purchased, but it has long sleeves and it's cropped like that. That also works good for me because I have such a long torso. Um, it just it gives me more up here to kind of balance out what's going on down on the bottom. Does that make sense? <laughs> so that is what I intend to do with that yarn and where I deconstructed that sweater. So, next, these came from Lovecraft. Yes, these were some patterns on Lovecraft. They had a special 
These are Debbie Bliss patterns, but just take a, this is, actually I think this is knit. I don't think this is crochet. Yeah, this is knit. Look at this. I love this so much. I love the texture. I love the gradient on the texture. Um, yeah, I really love this one. I don't know if, I do want to knit another sweater, uh, but I have some other things that I really need to finish before I start that, but uh, I'll do it one day. It'll happen one day. All right, and this is another Debbie Bliss one. This is like a, almost like a, a robe, but it's a very lightweight, lacy cardigan. And I think this is knit as well. And I just super love this. I love this, this edging they've got going on here and the light lacy look of it. It's just a very feminine, a very feminine type garment. And that's super, there's some feminine things like this I like, but I would probably pair it with something that was less feminine. That's just me. But I, uh, I really like that. So, this is another one I got off of uh, there as well. But this is from West Yorkshire Spinners. Uh, it's the Maplewood Cardigan. This is also a knitting pattern. Um, but I really like this. Um, I like the different pattern in the sleeves here. And this belt thing. This braided belt thing. I really like this right here. So... Now, the last, the rest of this is clothing, sewing patterns. Yeah, sewing clothing patterns, clothing sewing patterns. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and these all came from Style Arc. That is an Australian-based company, but they sell, they have an Etsy shop, they have their own website, and they sell on Amazon. So, sometimes they have specials on Amazon where you can get the printed pattern of, uh, like at a discounted price and since you have free shipping on Amazon you can get it from them and because uh, otherwise I usually just order the PDF pattern if they're having a sale in their Etsy shop or something so um, but this is uh, this first one is actually one I did a PDF of I haven't I don't have the actual pattern but this one is um, I really love and this is like a just a wrap hooded slouchy sweatshirty thing I just I love that so much. It just looks like it would just be comfortable to toss on and just wear. Um, this is the Elita designer top. So, uh, yeah, you can see in this little image here that that piece pulls out. And you can twist it around or you can put it over your head or, you know, there's just different ways to do it, which I love. And next, now these are the actual patterns. So this is how the pattern would come if you order the pattern you might buy in the store. It comes printed on paper, which I, I do like because it's easier to uh, reuse if you want to. So uh, this is just another cardigan. Uh, this is the coral cardigan. I like this detail here. The pockets are in the seam here. And then this little band ends right there. And I just I just like that design. That little detail. Stuff like that is what really uh, makes me want a pattern. It really just changes a basic piece to something, you know. I, I recently bought some new clothing because I just needed some new clothing. and I But I do want to sew all these things. But I just needed something more immediate. And I realized they just are not very interesting. The clothing that you purchase online currently uh, I just didn't find that much interesting stuff so all right so this is a pair of pants it's called the Isla pants and this is just kind of a I found this interesting this little crossover bit here it's kind of a different take on a pair of jogging pants um, it just looks more interesting so uh, it has a dropped crotch, though. I'm not sure if I'm going to like that or not. We shall see. I've seen some people wear it. I don't know if I'm going to enjoy it, but we will see. I just like this. It's very interesting type of pattern. And then this is the Sadie tunic. I thought this would just be a good one to have for a work top. 
Um, I found this little pleating at the sleeve interesting. Um, I'll have to see how I can work that out just right. I don't like anything that's too snug on my arms, but uh, I thought this was just an interesting little detail for that pattern. And next we have the Daya tunic, which I love this because it's, it gives you a layered look without actually having the layers, which is good when you are in the south and you don't want to layer things because it's too hot. Um, but you want that look. So I really like this. Uh, it's just a basic kind of thing. But you can make this very interesting depending on the fabrics you choose. Um, lots of uh, things that can be done with that. So, And next we have the Brooklyn Knit Top. This is like a sweatshirt. But it's like a, a comfortable... Uh, just a more modern take on a sweatshirt. Let's put it that way. And I like the slouchy little neck instead of a, a turtleneck which i'm not fond of so and i love that they did this one in quilted uh knit i thought that would be interesting so yeah i just like that and last but not least is another is the geneva jacket it has a similar feel to that first one i showed so it has a side zip and uh this portion is not meant to be hoodie like but I like these angles uh, and the fact that it's open down here. It just gives me more movement. Uh, and then if you unzip it, this lays like this. Um, I think this is a very interesting pattern also. So, all right, guys. That is, guys, why am I saying guys? Y'all, who am I? Who am I? Uh, all right, y'all. That is all for Pattern Palooza or Patterns galore and not a thing more. Number two. I hope y'all found it interesting. Found some fun patterns y'all might like to try out. I try to include patterns of all kinds when I do this. Um, I like looking through them too because it gets me excited. Of course, it also makes me want to go jump on another project right now. But I don't need to do that. I have bags to sew for my shop. Sew for my shop. And I need to process this video so y'all can actually see it. So, um... That is all for today. I'll have links down below to all of this for you to go check out. So what I may do for like some of them that have multiple patterns, I will just uh, link to the shop and then list the patterns that I bought and then you can look them up. Um, that keeps me from having to have so many links. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's it. So uh, y'all remember to have a life lived creatively and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.